Hello, folks. My name is Vishwa. I work as a privacy architect with Oasis. And what we're going to be chatting about today is the Oasis Network, the first privacy-enabled blockchain platform for open finance and a responsible data economy. <clears throat> so here's our path to mainnet. Um, as you all know, we started a Questnet competition a while ago, and then we followed that up with the Amber Network, which was our release candidate for mainnet. The Genesis file at this point is done. Uh, we started a mainnet dry run on the 22nd of September, and today we have our mainnet beta. Um, so soon enough, we will have the mainnet. So that's the reason for this presentation, because we have a big moment for the company today with the mainnet beta launch. And so let's dive in. So the Oasis network is the world's first scalable privacy-enabled blockchain. So it enables a large number of use cases, starting with scalable private DeFi or open finance, where privacy-first design expands DeFi beyond traders and early adopters. Uh, cutting edge scalability features bring fast speeds, high throughputs for our DeFi transactions. The Oasis network also is the first to enable data tokenization and a responsible data economy. So what this does is it unlocks game-changing new use cases for blockchain, where users or data owners can tokenize their data, treat it as a non-fungible asset that can then participate in a data market. Uh, this powers the next generation of privacy-first applications. And finally, we, rapid, we have a rapidly growing community with a top tier team uh, comprised of close to 1,000 node operators, developers, enterprise partners, ambassadors, and more, and nearly 10,000 community members engaged in global social channels. So on this slide, we compare the Oasis network with several others. This is to show the fact that the Oasis network is the first of its kind for both scalability, privacy, as well as for versatility. So if you look at, on the left-hand side, you'll see that there are a number of axes along which we compare ourselves to the others. For instance, in the consensus layer, as you can see, we have the average block times of 1.5 to 6 seconds. There is instant finality, which is a virtue of proof of stake networks. Um, the, th the place where we really distinguish ourselves is in confidentiality. So from the very outset, Oasis has been built as a privacy first blockchain platform. So which means confidentiality has been built into the network so that you can have end-to-end -end confidentiality for transactions. And finally, when it comes to versatility, uh, we permit both uh, permissioned as well as permissionless uh, runtimes or execution layers to interact with our consensus layer, which is something that distinguishes what we offer from many of the others. <clears throat> so Oasis enables scalable and private DeFi, so let's get into that a little more. Um, we believe that the platform unlocks the full value of DeFi because of the fact that we provide not just privacy, but also scalability. So if you look at those two axes, on scalability, the fact that we have up to 1,000 TPS is something that helps us when compared to other networks such as Ethereum, also compounded by low transaction fees and a parallel execution environment, which enables the execution of both simple and complex transactions without each of those interfering with the other. And when you look at the privacy access, what this enables us in DeFi is to have a far richer data sets participating in a reputation or credit-based under-collateralized lending, as an example. And protection, of course, of sensitive information is a given since the platform provides confidentiality and privacy from the ground up. So Oasis enables private DeFi in multiple sectors, be it lending, be it AMM and DEX, stable coins, oracles, payments, stock pools. In each one of these sectors, the protection that we provide is something that we can see in this particular slide. For instance, just looking at private lending, uh, the balance is being confidential, what is actually being borrowed, the money that is being loaned, the money that's being borrowed is being confidential, and also the direction of the transaction itself being maintained confidentially for all properties that we bring to the table. And this applies to every other sector that you see in this slide. So we can take an example, which is private lending. If you think about the traditional way in which this happens today, you have lending agencies that would collect a lot of information. They would use experience services to be able to compute like a credit score. And that score is then going to be used in whatever risk modeling that they have before they can actually give you a loan. But what we see is today, uh, because of the fact that we don't have this privacy preserving capabilities in the evaluation of these risk scores and reputation scores over large amounts of user data, we unfortunately have under collateralized lending as uh, the mainstay. We believe that with the Oasis platform, its unique capabilities of providing confidentiality, it gives symmetrical guarantees to both users as well as lending services. Now, users can bring a lot more of their data to the table be it from Plaid or be it from Experian, their identity, their salary information, their uh, payment histories, 
And lending services can then run various sophisticated risk models and also reputation scores can be computed using the data that the users submit. And using that, they can take better decisions when it comes to lending. And all of these come with symmetrical guarantees in the sense that the lending services know that the program that was used to evaluate the risks or compute reputations are exactly the ones that they expected. And users also get a symmetrical guarantee that their data was never used outside of the secure enclaves, which means only that program saw their data and that data was always maintained confidentially anywhere outside of the enclave. <clears throat> So we believe that this can really open up the lending space uh, to get to a market which is at least a thousand exercises of the current market. We are, we are looking at $6 trillion of unlocked potential with something like this. So we have various partners that are enabling DeFi on the Oasis platform today, be this in banking, authentication, oracles, liquidity, payments, wallet support, to name a few. So on this slide, you can see that we have partnerships with Wire, Chainlink, Provable, Balancer, BankX, Keyless, Total, Staffy, Ledger, and Smith & Crown. We'll make these slides available after the talk so that you can always refer back to this to see uh, you know, the, the value that we bring to the table. So Second State is running an EVM-compatible paradigm that can be used today on the Oasis network to build dApps, uh, just like you would on the Ethereum platform. So Second State has launched a version of Uniswap on the Oasis network using their EVM compatible paradigm. This paradigm leverages the Oasis network's high throughput and fast speeds for better performance than what is available otherwise, with lower gas fees to top it all off. So when it comes to data tokenization and a responsible data economy, we find that the combination of blockchain and secure computing unlock this entire space. Open data is what we prefer to call this, where blockchain allows you to log and enforce usage policies set by users with high integrity and auditability. And secure computing technologies give you guarantees where users' data is only handled within the secure environment so that there is private reservation, it's handled confidentially, and only the compute that is being run on that data gets access to the data, and the data can never be reused without permission. So users then submit these capsules of data and policies, and this can then be treated as an asset class that can be consumed along specific guidelines specified by users for specific fee or for the exchange of specific value. So with data tokenization, the Oasis network can unlock a new responsible data economy where individuals can maintain data rights and earn value from their data assets. And this is the world that we would love to enable. So here is an example use case of generating a data reward. So users submit their data, they tokenize it, and this is something that then participates in a data market. All of this is mediated by the Oasis network. Uh, the data requesters or buyers then get to use this data. Payment flows in one direction from the data requesters back to the users. And there are symmetrical guarantees, as we mentioned earlier, where the data requester can run their analysis programs using the Oasis network inside of these secure enclaves. And user data is only used within these enclaves. So here is another use case that we would like to talk about. And this is enabling crypto exchanges to share threat intelligence data in a trustless fashion. So what this means is today, uh, the problem that we're trying to solve with this is crypto theft and attacks are on the rise. Crypto exchanges need to identify and clearly prevent malicious transactions from going through. So many of these exchanges have threat intelligence that is built using threat intelligence teams within these organizations. Now, if they could pool all of this intelligence and they, they could react using this combined intelligence, to transactions that may be malicious, then clearly it unlocks tremendous potential. So what we're doing by way of solution here is we've joined forces with Binance. Exchanges can share threat intelligence data. Data is kept confidential while it's being used to detect bad actors. And here, none of the parties are required to trust the other. They're not required to trust Oasis either. Okay, because a lot of business sensitive information can participate in this threat intelligence and the queries that are being run by these exchanges. So by providing this trustless platform, we ensure that we can build an exchange that is robust, where data can be shared without the risk of it getting stolen or it getting misappropriated, while gaining all of the value that a pooled threat intelligence can provide for uh, uh, this particular use case. So the problem that we have here is that genomic data is incredibly valuable and personal. And more often than not, it can be sold or misused without the users really being aware of the ways by which their genomic data is being used. So Nebula Genomics is a company that we're working with, and they needed a solution that allows their customers to regain full control of their genome. So here, customers 
own their genome, they give their genome to Nebula Genomics. Nebula Genomics computes these polygenic scores on variants of their genome and then gives interpretations to the users. So to do this, they use Parcel, which is a product from Oasis Labs, and the Oasis network to control how their genome is used and to ensure it remains private. Data is kept private through TE technology, and a record of all actions is maintained by the Oasis network for transparency and auditability. So here are some of the projects building a responsible data economy in Oasis. So we have a few unannounced enterprise partnerships on the left-hand side. So we're working with a Fortune 500 healthcare company to provide transparency in data sharing, where they share sensitive information with the CDC, for instance, or with other research institutions. And we're working with a social media company, which is a Fortune 500 social media company, for privacy technologies that can be used to query databases in a privacy-preserving way. And finally, we're working with a leading auto manufacturer uh, to provide them a similar capability uh, around differential privacy. And we have a bunch of announced projects and partners, Alethea, Castellis, Cara, Luter, Stanford Medicine, uh, the Music Fund are a few examples. Binance, of course, is something that we spoke about earlier. We have a strong pipeline of partners from key verticals, 75 plus healthcare, 35 plus in FinTech, and 15 plus in insurance. So now let's dive into the Oasis network technology. So the Oasis network has a very unique architecture. So we split consensus from execution. That is the way in which we solve the scalability challenge. So what we have are two essential components. We have the consensus layer, and then we have these parallel runtimes, which we also refer to as paratimes. So the paratime layer hosts parallel runtimes, each representing a replicated compute environment with shared state. The consensus layer is a scalable, high-throughput, secure, proof-of-stake consensus run by a decentralized set of validator nodes. And so this clean separation of concerns between consensus and paradigm is the way in which we can tackle the problem of scalability and also the versatility that we spoke about earlier. So here are some of the advantages of paradigms. Firstly, it's decentralized. Any developer can register a paradigm to the consensus layer. And the versatility comes from the fact that these paradigms can be purpose-built. You can have, for instance, an Ethereum-compatible paradigm, like what second state is running for us. Uh, or you can have a confidential paradigm, which uses TE technologies. You can also use other secure computing technologies, such as fully homomorphic encryption, and so on. Um, you can have a rich set of languages that we can also support as part of these execution environments. You can have Rust-based smart contract languages, language support. You can also have data tokenization engines, to name a few. Um, the consensus committee uses discrepancy detection to detect any misbehavior in the paradigm committee. So paradigms are expected to provide verifiable computing, and this verification step is conducted by the consensus layer, where all that we want is for one honest node before we can actually detect a discrepancy. And so this enables us to run with far smaller compute committees, improving efficiency. And this is, again, something that helps us with uh, cost efficiency and also with security. Um, finally, we would say that uh, the, the fact that the network can enable you to run both permissioned as well as permissionless paradigms is one of our strengths, because this enables us to unlock enterprise use cases, because more often than not, you might require a permissioned network or a permissioned runtime for an enterprise use case. And given the fact that we have this paradigm infrastructure, the paradigm architecture, the flexibility that it affords us is to be able to tackle both of these use cases. So when it comes to confidentiality in the paradigms, it can be provided, as we said earlier, using multiple technologies. Secure computing is the larger umbrella under which many of these fall. What we provide is trusted execution environments backed uh, confidentiality for our paradigms. Uh, the TEs act as a black box for computation. So what you want is that the program is encrypted, the, encrypt the data is encrypted, and then being used inside of these enclaves. And the results are being computed and encrypted within the enclave before they leave the secure environment. So, and as a consequence, everything is confidential. You can think of this as a black box where all of the inputs go in encrypted and what comes out is already encrypted. And it's meant for the identities that should get access to it. So, which means that there is a, a strong guarantee that the results of the computation can only be seen by authorized personnel. And also the, the, the personnel that can submit these transactions are also the ones that we expect. Other secure computing technologies such as ZKP, MPC, FHG, or other TEs can also be brought to the table uh, via different paradigms. And that is one of the strengths that we bring to the platform. So the Oasis platform's unique advantages can be 
classified along these three axes, scalability, privacy, and versatility. Along scalability, parallel execution allows for fast transaction speeds and high throughput. Discrepancy detection, as we mentioned earlier, enables real-world scalability that's more efficient in sharding. Large workloads execute in parallel and don't slow down other transactions. So which means that for those transactions that require more compute, we are not going to be stymieing the ones that don't. Right? And find, when you look at the privacy access, what you see is we can enable private scalable DeFi, tokenized data, and a responsible data economy. And we have a bunch of built-in features which are privacy focused, making it easier for people to run confidential paradigms. And also the tooling that makes it easy to develop confidential applications, privacy preserving applications to run on the platform. And when it comes to versatility, we covered some of these things earlier. We have a lot of flexibility. We are not at all prescriptive in terms of what these paradigm capabilities are. Paradigms can be highly versatile. They can be large or they can be small. Uh, they can be either open or they can be closed. They can be permission to permissionless. And also they can provide any set of developer tools that makes it easy for them to attract developers to their particular execution environment. So a network does not happen without a powerful community. And so we are blessed with a very powerful community that helps us in our endeavor. Um, we have over 500 node operators participating in the network. Applications built by Fortune 500s to startups all realizing the vision of the responsible data economy. We have one of the largest university programs of any layer one that is out there. And tooling, DeFi partnerships and more are there to ensure liquidity and ease of use. So we have been getting a lot of press coverage, as you can see in the slide. Uh, we have over 250 articles that have been uh, published so far that feature some aspect of, aspect of what we've been doing so far. Uh, finally, the first privacy-enabled blockchain platform for open finance and a responsible data economy is exactly what the Oasis platform enables. Thank you very much.